Hey, Scott, one of the best trainers in boxing, was a super talented fighter, and now working with Deontay Wilder. Breaking news today all over. The fight with Wilder and Fury may be postponed due to, quote-unquote, outbreak of COVID at Fury's camp. What's your response? What do you think? Well, I don't think... I know we, uh, we're about to get ready to uh, go work right now. Uh, everything is remaining the same. We're not going for no bananas and no tailpipes. So I don't care what the, the media report, nothing like that. We stay in zone then. Um, like I said, we're about to go put in these rounds of sparring, get some good floor work in, um, and get the guy to recover because uh, we have, this is a big week for us with sparring. And, um, yeah, everything is still on the court with us, I mean, you know what I mean? We don't, we don't go for none of that type of, you know. If it gets postponed, it gets postponed, but you can't listen to rumors or stop training just because there's a possibility, and then it comes around, okay, it's not postponed. The fight yeah, is... Unless you got to realize, we're dealing with a fighter that I believe nothing he said. We're dealing with a fighter that say he may come in the ring 300 pounds. I don't believe it. We're dealing with a fighter that say um, him and McGregor is something like best friends. Then McGregor said he don't even know the guy besides him being a You get what I'm saying? So you just never know with Tyson. But the way how you treat people and the way how you treat humans that you know that you really don't can't take their word for shit. And you just always have to stay prepared so you don't have to get ready. And that's what we do on um, that type of news that didn't shatter the camp at all. It's, it's a laughing matter over here because uh, what time is it right now? In about 30 more minutes, Deontay Wilder being the ring spark going very hard the same way we was doing for the rest of the days. Those are the words of Malik Scott, the head trainer of Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder, as you heard this guy <clears throat> state that that didn't shake them at all. He was business as usual. You're talking about a guy that constantly lies, that constantly keeps BSing you. So why would you take his word seriously? He's he not going to fall for the banana in the head, in the tailpipe, the Beverly Hills cop method. He's not going to fall for any of that stuff. He said over there they were laughing at that idea that that was going to be postponed. And then he started pulling out a whole bunch of counter punches on the fact that uh, Tyson Fury lied about uh, Conor McGregor knowing him because Conor McGregor said, I don't even know Tyson Fury. You know, that was strike one. Strike two said, hey, he was going to come in 300 pounds like you're going to believe that. That's another one that he claims that is going to be a lie. That's strike two. You know, and then, you know, and he went on further and further <clears throat> about Tyson Fury that it, to me, Looking at Malik Scott, and I was looking at the way he was uh, hearing that he didn't, it, it, he wasn't moved whatsoever about the news. And like I told you guys on the live stream, look, the news just popped. It's fake news. Don't listen to it until it's actually happened. It's happened. Okay, you'll hear certain things, and and that could have just all been a derailment to just upset this side of of their their training and their progress. You never know, just to throw people off mentally. But you have to understand who you're dealing with, though. So Malik Scott is right. Not necessarily call him a liar all the times. So I know one thing, he's lied, but I can tell you this, he's a master of mind game. So this might be another thing that he, that he is good at BSing people and throwing you off your game plan. But Malik Scott's not falling for it. So, hey, fair play to him because they weren't moved. They weren't affected, and I was joking about what Deontay Wilder says, but I pretty much knew his mindset. He's not going to bother with all that. I don't trust none of them. You going to fight me. You know what I mean? So, no, it wasn't postponed when Dan Raphael came forth with that info. I had to counterpunch and let people know about it. But this is to confirm people that Malik Scott and Deontay Wilder, those guys are entering sparring. They're not worried about anything at all. And also, Tyson Fury would have mentioned that on his, um, on his Davis interview just today. So we would have heard something about it if it was postponed. We would have heard everything else besides that news that uh, it was postponed. So there you go. You guys tell me what you think of Malik Scott saying that you cannot trust Tyson Fury. The fight's still on. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.